How nice was it to return to some form in Geelong? Yeah, it was good. Obviously, playing Geelong is a bit of an honour for me. I go for the Cats, so it was pretty cool to make some runs out there. But, yeah, it was good to contribute finally with a bat. Um, made a few starts, but to make a big score, win a game for your team is pretty cool. Did you get to meet any of the footballers? I did. Paddy Dangerfield, which is pretty cool. Um, I would like to meet a few more as well, but, you know, it was pretty cool meeting him. He's obviously a legend of the AFL and the Cats, so it was cool. And you yourself, your form in this big bash, you've been a rocky start, you've been looking good but haven't made the score. How nice was it to get back and make some runs? Yeah, yeah as I said, uh, contributing a little bit at the top, making a few runs, but just not keep kicking on and making big scores, which our top order have been doing, Alex Carey, Colin Ingram, I've been kicking on and making those match winning scores. So just to do that, it's, it's pretty cool and to do it in Geelong is special. So. You and your partnership with Alex Carey, how nice is it the two of you opening the batting together knowing yeah. How, how each other plays. Yeah, it's pretty cool. You know, Kez was, he was pretty honest with me. He came to me um, during the game and said, this is probably your time to go here a little bit. You know, um, it's uh, one of those things, playing in those outgrounds, you don't know what the wicket's going to play like. And he called, uh, read it really well and said, I reckon it's your time to go here. So I just took it on and thankfully it came off. So it's normally it's him taking the game on and me sitting back and playing the back role. So it was good. Were you confident that a big score was just around the corner? Uh, yeah, you're yeah. always slightly um, unsure because it's just cricket, you never know what's going to happen. But yeah, I was confident that it was going to come. I was hitting the ball really well in the nets and um, Michael Divinuto, our batting coach, was always in my ear saying how well you're hitting them and stuff like that. So it was, I felt like it was, a, it was close, but you just never know with cricket. What's it like working with someone like Michael Divinuto and you're working with these new batting coaches and new coaches for a short period in the middle of the season? Do you like it, getting a fresh set of ideas? Yeah, it is pretty cool. Um, every batting coach is different, but actually I found him quite refreshing. He's pretty, uh, he's pretty calm and collected which is cool in the batting coach. Sometimes it can be a bit intense, but he's you know, puts it on you to problem solve yourself and get through it and find ways yourself to make runs, which is, I think, is the biggest key to batting. And he just talks about pretty simple key messages about just keeping your head still, which is great. So there are things that have helped me a long, a long way in this tournament so far, which is so good. Is it a blow not having Ben Lachlan available this, this game? Obviously, he's obviously a pretty good plot bowler. He does a pretty good job at um, playing at Adelaide Oval. Bowls really well here. Knows the dimensions really well and just knows his game plans. But having Sidney back is a big deal. So Sidney bowls really, really well here. He's been caught up to the one-day squad for a reason. So he's a big in for us. And how important is it getting back here and playing a game at Adelaide Oval? Yeah, it's pretty good. We play pretty well here normally. So uh, we can just post enough runs and our bowling attack's going to get the job done. So it's a, it's a bit of a fortress for us, I think. Uh, we were pretty conf always pretty confident that we'll get the win here, but at the same time, we just got to do our, do our thing and you know, the result will take care of itself. Do you head out there pretty confident knowing that the pitch is generally going to be really good? Yeah, it is. It's the best we get in Australia to bat on, I think. Um, so to go out there consistently and try to make runs is pretty cool. So walking out with a bit of confidence, you know, you never know some other grounds are a bit harder to bat on. So got to take advantage of a flat wicket um, here at Adelaide. You guys have been at a few different venues around Australia this year. Have you been surprised by some of the pitches you've encountered? Yeah, you are. You, know, you never know. Some of the out grounds played Geelong was, was a bit of a hard wicket. Uh, even playing in Perth um, was a new ground for my, both teams and we probably got the wrong side of the toss that game. Um, bowling first would have been great. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's, it's tough to go to these wickets and know what they're going to do. I'm a terrible reader of a wicket, so I have no idea. So you, you just got to go out there and bat and see what happens. And the Sydney Sixers, they're just coming off a loss. How desperate will they be? Oh, they will be. They'll be very desperate. Um, I'm close mates with a couple of blokes in that team, so it'll be cool to play against them as well. But I think they need a big win as well for them. So they'll come out hard. They've got a very good lineup, and yeah, we match up well, I think, with them. So it should be a good game. Have the text messages been flying off already? Yeah, they have been, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we catch you up at coffee. Uh, Josh Felipe dropped the catch last night, unfortunately, so I was getting into him last night. And uh, Lloyd Pope, he didn't play, unfortunately, but I'm sure he'd be here as well, too. So, um, yeah, some guy, young guys have played the NPS with, so it's be cool to see them.